Today, so this is our lesson, August the 9th, 2012. Uh, just looking at a few things that are going on here. Now, as the club swings back with this new backswing, we've talked about a few things last week. You've been doing a lot of practice, which has been great. Your dad told me you hit 325 balls in a day, which is good. So we talked about the takeaway being a more online. So here it's really close, just a little bit too rotated. Left hand's a bit pushed out, and the head of the club's a bit, a bit behind. If we just reversed those two positions, that would be perfect. As the club swings back now, we're getting a lot more width out of your right arm, which is fantastic. Really good here with the right arm width away from your shoulder, which has been your focus for this week. The angle could be a little bit shallower, still a little bit more upright than what we're after, so we could do with having the, head of the, the, sorry, the, the handle of the club just a little bit lower back here behind you. So it's, it's, it's very good though, really good positions. Coming down there, what we were working on with your lesson um, today was to get the club maintaining width on the way down. You can see when the club comes down now, it's dropping back in behind you quite a lot. And it's dropping back in behind you because your, your right elbow is back here against your side. There's not enough width being maintained between your right hand and your torso as, as the club comes down. And what this is also doing, because you've lost that width, your left, your left arm gets stuck out of your left shoulder here, which is not what we're after. So that, that's a strength, uh, a loss in strength position. Plus, we've got your lower body turning out too much, which is one of the reasons why you get that big head dip and legs and doing an extra rotation coming through. You've done a great work with that left leg and bracing with the left leg. I know you said you had some, uh, had some pain with that, so I'm, I don't want to continue that. And this change, these changes that we're making here now should also alleviate that uh, extra stress that you're having in your left leg. So looking at the, the front view, we can see a little more particularly what happens with the loss of width in the, in the arms and the downswing. So yet again, the backswing is a big improvement. Really good width here. You can see now the club's up above your head. When the club comes down though, we can see how the club really loses width from here to here. There's quite a lot of loss in width. So the feelings that we gave you, we gave you two particular feels. We gave you a feel from here. We wanted your body to keep, feel like it kept its height. We're not worried too much about your torso, your lower torso turning through with your hips. Your hips actually turn through a little bit too aggressively. They open out too fast. So we want the, the legs not to turn through so much. We're trying to get a feeling of... So the two feelings we gave you were both uh, similarly related with your body motion. We're trying to feel like your hips weren't turning out. We're trying to feel like your body was really staying quite stagnant. You're trying to feel like your sternum, this this um, top part of your... Sorry, bottom part of your ribcage, top part of your, your abdomen was staying high. You're trying to feel like the arms are extending much more back down in front of you. The first one was to get your arms back down in front of you with the shaft being more blocked off this way with the maintaining the cock in your hands. And that was one way of doing it. And that was probably going to work better with your shorter irons because that motion will, will, get more, will gain more compression. The shorter iron, the seven iron down, need that compression, compressed motion to uh, achieve a, a more solid contact. With your... Um, Longer clubs, though, we talked about doing it differently. We talked about the feeling of the, the club and your arms and everything just extending back out in front of you in one straight line. And the feeling in your right hand was a feeling where your right arm was pushing and extending down and you're feeling like your knuckles in your right hand were working under. Now, it was working quite well with the driver and the, the longer irons, giving you a higher shot. Um, with everything in general, it was a lot higher with this feel. So that's uh, obviously great. The... Um, other feelings we talked about were you, with your right hand coming down, you can control the direction. Right hand working a bit more under gives you a fade feel, right hand, right hand turning over the ball at the bottom is going to give you a draw feel. Look pretty good in practice, I look forward to seeing, it, seeing and hearing how it goes um, practic practically in the next week. Good luck with the practice.